Since the pandemic began, many people have been worried about keeping their home virus free. How often should we be disinfecting our countertops? And better yet, what about the mail? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shed some light in today's Max Minute. When the COVID-19 coronavirus was new and mostly unknown just five months ago, it made sense to be cautious. We knew we had to guard against person-to-person -person transmission, coughing, sneezing. Then came a study in the New England Journal of Medicine suggesting that SARS-CoV-2 could survive on surfaces for up to 72 hours. Now we also have to worry about surface-to-person infection? Maybe not. Following the report, health officials recommended surface disinfection, thinking SARS-CoV-2 spread readily via contaminated surfaces. So people became scared of surfaces. We've seen dozens of videos showing how to wipe down everything from counters and packages to disinfecting groceries and even doorknobs and mail. But as we've learned more about the coronavirus, recommendations have shifted. The CDC now says transmission through surfaces is less of a threat. See, the question wasn't so much whether the virus could survive on surfaces, but how would the virus get from that surface into a person's mouth or nose? You would have to touch that contaminated surface right where the virus was, and then quickly touch your mouth, nose, or eyes. Low probability. And even then, if the person simply washes their hands after touching a contaminated surface, transmission is prevented. So could you catch COVID-19 from a contaminated surface? Theoretically, yes, but highly unlikely. This does not mean that you can let your guard down, though. The CDC continues to urge people to socially distance, wear masks in public, and wash your hands often. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. If you would like to ask Dr. Max a question, just go to cbsnewyork.com slash max.